Google just made VO 3.1 available for completely free in their new experimental web app. And today, I'm going to show you how you can use this web app to create insanely good VO 3.1 videos for completely free, and how you can use this secret web app to create insanely good applications or workflows to make your AI content much better. So this new web app from Google is called Opal. Now, at its core, it is an application which you can use to build, edit, and share mini AI apps using just natural language. And here you can also use all the video and image generation tools of Google for free. Now, to come to this website, you are just going to search Opal AI Google, and thereafter, click on the official link of Opal by Google. Now, after coming to this website, you are going to see something like this. Under this section, you are going to see the apps that you have built using Opal, and under that, you are going to see the gallery option here. Google has given you some of the official examples of apps that you can create using Opal. For example, this app called Video Maker, or this app called Blog Post Writer. So if I click on this application, I am going to be able to see the official nodes and blocks that Google used to generate this kind of application. And you don't need to write any kind of code to generate these kinds of nodes and blocks because there is a process by means of which you can generate all this using just natural language. The blog post writer is a pretty simple application here. It uses, I think, one of the Gemini multimodal language models to generate these blog posts. So it is right now asking me to provide the topic for the blog post. So I'm just going to type something like benefits of drinking water and then send it to the AI model. It is then automatically going to do research on the topic that I send it and then write the blog post here. Then it is going to start to write a blog like this. Now, it is going to take a long time to make it into a finished, good looking web page. But as you can see, the AI model here does the work really well if you read the blog right here. Now, let me show you how you can use this application to create videos with VO 3.1 for completely free, and also how you can use it to create mini apps to make the workflows for your AI films a lot better. So, to create a new web app, we are just going to click on this Create New button. In this prompt box, you are going to describe the thing you want to create with this app builder. You can manually add blocks, but we are not going to touch this option right here because this is quite complex. We are just going to stick to this text prompt box to generate our application. So for this first AI application, we are just going to write the prompt, create a web app where the user is able to generate videos using the VO 3.1 model using text. And then we are just going to send this prompt to the web app builder and the AI model is automatically going to start to generate the workflow and the web app for us. Now, the App Builder has finished building our application, and as you can see, the App Builder has used some really simple nodes to build our application. I tested it to see whether the application actually works or not, and the application actually works. If I click on this button right here, it is going to take me to the actual web app. I asked the AI model to generate a video of a man walking, and it generated this video right here. And as you can see, this video here is actually really good, and the video here is actually generated with sound and you can just download the video file here by clicking on the download file option. Now, let's try to generate another video using the specific app. So I'm just going to click on this refresh button and then I can just create a new video. And the web app builder here has named the application Video Waiver. So you just need to click on this start button here and then you're just going to describe your video to the AI model or give the prompt for your video to the AI model. So for this, I'm just going to write Create a video of an octopus climbing onto a ship. And then I'm just going to send in the prompt. Now let's see what kind of video the AI model generates here. So the AI model right here has finished generating the video. And as you can see, this video also looks really good and there is no watermark in this video. And this video is also generated with sound. And I really like the realistic physics of water here. Even the giant octopus here is looking really cool. And there is no distortion in the body of this octopus when it climbs onto the ship. This shows how good the Veo 3.1 video model is working here. Now, as you can see, we just built a simple text to video generator here with just a simple prompt. Now, you can change the things in this web app to your liking by just asking the AI model. So, I right now want an image to video feature here. So, I'm just going to give the app builder here a prompt like, 
I want an image to video feature here, so please add an image to video feature. Now, the prompt here that I am giving the AI model is pretty simple, but I think that it is going to work wonderfully. Now, it is saying that an unexpected internal error occurred. Please try again later. You are going to face this problem right here many times because of the fact that it is an experimental website, and also many people are trying to build applications like these here. So there is a lot of traffic, and sometimes the website just can't keep up with the demand. But whenever your prompt goes through, the result here is really beautiful like this. Now, let me show you some of the other applications that I was able to build using Opal AI here. You don't have to just use Opal AI to create like a free VO 3.1 video generator. You can also use the AI model to create other AI workflows, your AI filmmaking journey, or your AI content creation journey much better. For example, I made this web app right here called Thumbnail Genius. This web app is focused on generating compelling channel-optimized YouTube thumbnails with AI. So after clicking on the Start button, you are just going to upload your channel link, and then the AI model is going to generate a thumbnail optimized for that specific channel. So this is also a really cool web app that I was able to build.